Welcome to the Easy Trends training program. In this training video, we will go over the features and interface to help you get the most out of your Easy Trends software. All JPI Engine Data Management Systems store information which can be uploaded to Easy Trends to graphically view engine data, diagnose problems, and log engine information. Easy Trends is a utility program that will transfer compressed data from your EDM to your PC and decompress the data. It will plot the data on the screen and print the graph. Easy Trends allows great flexibility in how you display your data. You may plot all parameters simultaneously or select any parameters to plot on a separate optional plot. You may zoom in on any area of a plot. Hereafter, we will use the term EDM to refer to either the EDM 700, EDM 711, EDM 800, EDM 760, EDM 900, or EDM 930 and the Microvision 1000C. Let's begin by discussing Easy Trends and the long-term memory in your EDM engine analyzer. The EDM long-term memory will record and store all displayed parameters once every six seconds or at a user-selected rate and transfer them to a laptop PC. Be sure to enable data recording on your EDM. If you don't, when you attempt to dump data, you will discover there is no data to dump. To enable data recording, hold the STEP and LF buttons for five seconds. You will see the word program for two seconds. Tap step until you see the words end, yes. Again, hold the step and lean find buttons for five seconds. Tap step until you see the words record, no. Tap lean find to change to record, yes. Tap step a few times to exit. When you retrieve your recorded data to your laptop PC, you can choose to retrieve all the data stored in the EDM or only the new data recorded since your last retrieval. In either case, no data in the EDM is erased. The data will be saved in the PC. The amount of total data that the EDM can store will vary depending on how rapidly the measurement temperatures change. The typical storage is 20 hours, but may vary depending on which options are installed. When the memory becomes full, the oldest data will be discarded to make room for the newest. All data is time-stamped. The EDM long-term memory contains a real-time clock that may be reset to local time or UTC when you initially program your instrument. You may also program an aircraft ID that will appear in the output data file. The aircraft ID can be your aircraft registration number or your name. Installing Easy Trends for Windows on a PC. Follow these simple steps to install the Easy Trends program on your PC. Insert the Easy Trends CD-ROM into your PC's CD-ROM drive. This should automatically start the Easy Trends installation program. If it doesn't, using Windows Explorer, select your CD drive and run Setup EXE. Follow the directions on the PC screen to install Easy Trends. Downloading EDM data. Connect the computer to the serial port using the serial cable. Insert the small round plug into the data connector on your aircraft instrument panel and the other end into the computer serial port. If your laptop is only equipped with a USB connector, then you must get the Keyspan adapter from us or your local computer store. Please make sure it is a Keyspan USB adapter. On the Windows desktop, double-click the EasyTrends icon. Click on the Download and Archive Data from your EDM button. On the Detect and Set COM port window, select the COM port that is connected to the EDM, then click Continue you will see the following window. Follow the directions on the screen. On the EDM 900 and EDM 930, instead of the Start button, there will be a Dump New and a Dump All button. 
to select New or All Data. After the download is complete, the EasyTrends program will decompress the data file that was downloaded and produce the Individual flights of flights. Decompressed Files button lets you see all files that have been decompressed and lets you select any one file to plot. Viewing EDM Data from the Easy Trends main menu, select Plot a DAT or PDB Archive File button. In the Decompress Archive File screen, click on the Browse DAT File button. Select a DAT file. You will see a screen similar to the one below. Select one or more flights. To select more than one flight, hold Control while clicking each flight, or hold Shift to select a range of flights. To select all flights, click on the Select All Flights checkbox. After you have selected one or more flights, click on the Load the Flights button. You will see the following plot of the data. The flights that you selected will be displayed on one graph. The first flight selected on the left, then the next on its right, and so on. The horizontal yellow line initially is set to the highest temperature on the graph. At the top of the screen is the menu that lets you select various features of EasyTrends. Below that is the EasyTrends toolbar that lets you view the data in a variety of ways. Let's explore the toolbar features. EasyTrends Toolbar the EasyTrends toolbar lets you select what graphs and data window are displayed on the screen. You can select which engine to graph. You can select any measurement from a tabular format. You can see the measurements displayed on an EDM simulator. You can always abort the current flights and start over. The Main Display Graph button displays the main graph. For a twin, the Main Tool button will be replaced by a Left button, which displays the data from the left engine. The Display Right Engine Graph button displays the data from the right engine. The Display Option Graph button lets you set a custom graph. In the Option Graph window, click on the C button on the Graph Toolbar. On the Options Configuration screen, check on the measurements you want to display on the Option Graph. Then click the OK button. The Option Graph will display only those measurements that you have checked. You can return to the Config option at any time to add or delete from measurements displayed. A horizontal cursor will be placed on the highest measurement on the graph. The Config option is available only to the Options Graph and does not apply to the main, left, or right graphs. The Display Data buttons display the raw engine data in a tabular format. The Display Simulator button displays a simulation of an EDM700 or EDM760 front panel. This lets you view the data as it would be displayed on these familiar instruments. You can change the speed of the simulation by moving the speed slider. By clicking on the step buttons, you can see the numerical value of each captured data channel. The cursor will follow the simulation on the data or graph. The start button resets EasyTrends, returning you to the main menu. The New button lets you select Return to the Decompressed Archive Files window to allow you to select other files to plot. 